This is what it says. This is from Peggy Newton in the Wall Street Journal. Uh, it says that, um, well, we got two articles here. One is Israel's, uh, is, is, uh, Israel and, um, and, um, and, and, uh, um, and Sudan, Sudan, um, yeah, so agree to uh, ties to a stop to get rid of nuclear weapons. So they agree to do that. So yes, yeah, Sudan, it's Sudan, it's Sudan, it's Sudan. And so it's great. Yeah, that's a good news. So they actually they're going to make part Sudan. It's going to be part of Israel. By the way, they're going to make it part of Israel. That's one thing they did. Okay, that just happened. One, uh, this is from Peggy Newton. Peggy Newton is reporting that on Jan on November fourth, the day after Donald Trump has uh, his voting count is is um is, is he um, he gets uh, he gets uh, all the ballots are in and it counts for. Uh, President President Trump as the nominee for President of the United States as a candidate. Okay, on November fourth, one day after the election, Nancy Pelosi, Crazy Chuck Schumer, Crazy Bernie Sanders, Corky Gestapo Burker, and you can think Andy and Gestapo Cortez, and also Di uh, uh, not Diane Feinstein but uh, Maxine Waters. And lead this charge uh, for getting Donald Trump impeached for uh, a, for um, a, uh, for election uh, uh, meddling. They want to do this. Oh boy! They want to do. They all want to do. This is. The, they all want to go in here and impeach the president again. And this is going to happen on November fourth, and well, they will. You know when it, the, people, the deadline, the deadline to, to say, when, we're not paying for this anymore. We, you won't even send us a twelve hundred dollar lousy uh, second stimulus, and or whatever it is, and and yet. You, uh, which is our tax dollars, doesn't belong to you, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and all you Democrats. It belongs to the taxpayers. And so you want to punish us, and you want to punish us by in continuing this harassment, this bullying, this um, malicious attacks on the President of the United States. I think the, the – I don't know why, but if I was a lawyer, I wanted to be a lawyer. I should have been a lawyer. I would be working for the president, and I would be filing malicious lawsuits against the president of the United States, against these people who continue to bully and harass and try to smear his name and slander and libel and all of these things. I would be naming them in a lawsuit. And and the deadline for this the, the, for the ending of the deadline is it's to call si malicious prosecution. In fact, well, well I know I, that's what his attorney should be. His attorney should be on that right now. Uh, and I here's a the, the, the they want to start they want to start this the impeachment stuff on November fourth and end it by December eighth before they go on vacation. Can you believe this? That's the deadline. So it only gives them. What is it, four weeks a month to do this? And I, 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 I don't get it. I don't understand why they're doing this. I don't understand this. I don't get it. I don't, what's their motive? They're, I mean, what, they're what, they're trying to, what are they trying to accomplish here? What are they trying to do here? I mean, you got Shifty Shift. You got, you got, you got Nancy Pelosi. You got Maxine Waters. You got, uh, uh, you you have um Corpy Gestuckle Burker. You have a, a, a crazy Bernie Sanders. You got uh, um, you got you, you, you. There's only so many ways Chuck they can Schumer. do it. One of the ways is recalls. Another way, which we're trying to recall 
uh, Comrade Newsom right now, yeah. Pelosi's um, nephew. The other way, who is denying us the right to go to in person to vote, uh, which I think is illegal and unconstitutional in my opinion. And then the other way, it, he's got 30 lawsuits against him, by the way. Mm. And the other way is to vote them out. You can vote out Nancy Pelosi and you can vote out Adam Schiff right now and Maxine Waters. They've been career politicians living off the, par the, the American people for 30 some years. They need to go. Uh, we need new faces. We need younger people in office and uh, with uh, who are loyal, patriotic Americans. Yeah. And then uh, who will uphold the Constitution. Yeah. And then we need um, we need people to call their representatives and um, and and ask them to uh, stop these attacks on the president of the United States because that's an attack on the American voters. Well, well, that's ridiculous. I mean, I never seen this kind. Of, I never seen this in my lifetime. I never. Have, I mean, here you here you got here you are going to get. Are you going? To, Donald Trump is going to win. Obviously, he's going to win. Otherwise, he won't, he won't be. The Congress and the Senate won't be. The liberals and the Congress won't be doing. The radicals, like I said, the rad, the the radical dinosaurs that you call them, right next to radical dinosaurs. You have is these is, is squads you have in the, in the Democratic Party. Well, you, know, you got uh, and now. Elizabeth Warren wants to go, jump in here too as well. Elizabeth Warren just decided to, I, I want to be part of this too as well. I want to be part of uh, uh, being part of the um, of the of the taking on the investigation of Donald Trump with Donald Trump Jr. They're going to t bring him testify again on November fourth. So I don't get I don't get I, don't, I folks hey, this is beyond me. I don't this is if I. If they want to break it, if they want to try to destroy this country, they're oh, guess what? We're just going to go in a ballot box and destroy them. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to, to go in the ballot box, folks. We're going to, have to do that. We're going to do it. We well, to do it hard. What happened was that President Trump was not expected by the left to win in 2016. Nope. And so they thought they had it in the bag, and Hillary was promised she'd be the first female president of the United States. And so they wanted Barack Obama in so that he could migrate the Muslims into the USA and the jihadists and the radicals and um, and so forth. And so and then to set up those training camps and Keep where they camps. have weapons. Keep and, camps. and also the no go zones, which include their mosque. And so then they also wanted uh, all these deals to be made and Obama would allow it with China and Russia and all this other stuff that's going on and allow Hillary Clinton to uh, make billions of dollars through Haiti and through Russia, Uranium One, and then to steal the emails. And she had Huma, whose parents are members of the Muslim Brotherhood and work publishing for the Muslim Brotherhood. So when Huma took those uh, 650,000 uh, emails, uh, government emails, and shared them on her computer, which is easily hacked, any home computer, uh, we don't know if she shared them with her parents, who are members of the anti-American Muslim Brotherhood care organization linked up to Hamas and Hezbollah and ISIS. So I don't, and I didn't hear one FBI agent say anything about that under the Comey uh, direction nope. about Huma. And did she share those emails, or did they hack into her emails, or did they have access to her daughter's emails? And what, why, and nobody asked why did Hillary remove all those emails to her home server? I mean, to just say there were some top secret, some confidential, some not confidential, but they're still government property. And to say, um, well, gee, it was just convenient. No, that's not. That's not an answer when you committed a government crime right. and then reduce it down to extreme carelessness from gross negligence or espionage. No, uh-uh. And so this, this whole democratic um, regime 
uh, under the Obama regime and the Hillary Clinton and John Kerry and Brennan and all these people, um, there was no oversight because the FBI was pol- under Comey was politically biased and they still are protective of yes and protective of the um, the Clintons and the Democrats. The CIA so it makes you H-E-S. wonder how much did Comey know about Epstein and Maxwell and why he never flew over there to investigate that particular orgy island or Lolita Express. Well, how about this and one? Remember? Children that were being trafficked and sexually abused. Nobody bothered. I mean, this is how corrupt we, this is the corruption that we have been living in, and we were paying all these people. I have a simple one for you. I have a simple one. they didn't, and many of them were abusing the children. Rose, I got a simple one for you. Why didn't. James Co- James Comey investigate when uh, Susan Lynch met Bill Clinton on a tour during during the Clinton the during the Clinton election. Remember that? That is such a big no no. I mean, that is like totally a no no. Why didn't they investigate that? I mean, it was right there. I mean, the pictures right there, the videos there. And they gave money in cash. You saw that. You saw a trade going on. You saw a trade deal in place. And no investigation. They just let it's it, like, it's nothing like happen. If you were in court and you attempted to speak to a juror, then you could be charged with a crime. This was far worse. Yeah, it was. But he got away with it. So, anyway, we're going to let you go. Thank you so much for your time. And, like I said, uh, we... Do look, we are looking out for America. That's why we spend so long in this program, folks. We spend a long time here on this because we have a lot of answers that the liberal media will not, the liberal mob will not do anymore. They won't touch this stories. They're not going to touch this. They're just going to sweep it in the rug or they're going to vacuum it and never see it again. So there you go. Voila. There it is. In a nutshell. And I want to say God bless you, Mark, and God bless America. God bless mm. all the people hurting in America because of the unconstitutional lockdowns, in my opinion. Yeah. And also, I want to remind everyone that the reason President Trump ran for office was to save the Constitution and the American people from tyranny by the left and and from China and from the Middle East, like Iran, and from and the Syria. terrorists, and also to remind you that one of the most important things you should remember before you vote is President Trump told Joe Biden, I ran because of you, Joe. Yeah, I ran because of you. Yes, he did. He goes, I ran because of you because you have no plan. You failed. You have done not what you've done in 40 years. Nothing. You have nothing to show for. This is why I ran because I had enough. Enough, enough politicians. That, hey, folks, you want you, you guys want you, here's a, here's, I'm going to make it simple for you, Rose. I'm going to make it so simple for you. This is what Joe Biden me said in September. This is in June 8th. 2020. Support terrorists, vote for me. That's what he said. Donald Trump, freedom and liberty. What do you want? That's my question. What do you want? You want freedom or liberty? Or do you want terrorists to support me? Or you want freedom or liberty? There's your choice right there. There you go. I'm going to let it go at that. Thank you, Rose. You're so welcome. God bless everybody. Talk to you later. Yeah, bye.